Animal lovers, be warned, you will be saying aww a lot this segment. That's because we have a preview of Maryland SPCA's largest fundraiser of the year, the Festival for the Animals. This all-day event will be held at Port Covington Saturday, May 5th. Joining me now with all the details are Tina Register, the Director of Communications for Maryland SPCA, and Chip Watkins, the Managing Director of the Weller Entertainment for the Port Covington Development Team. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us. Thank and I, I'd be remiss if I did not also introduce Donut. Tell Do me about not. Donut. Yes, Donut is just one of the 16,000 pets that come to the Maryland SPCA every year. Um, came in um, with um, another, I guess it has a couple of litter mates and they're going to be available for adoption soon. So when pets come in, uh, we keep them, like puppies, we keep them for until they're about eight weeks old. Then uh, we microchip them, spay and neuter them and find them their forever homes. And the Festival for the Animals is your biggest fundraiser all year long, right? It certainly is. So for 22 years, we've had the Maryland SPCA's March for the Animals, which everyone I think is really familiar with. So this year, um, we've changed it up a little bit. We have a new name. It's Festival for the Animals, but we still have some of um, we have the walkathon that everyone's used to and a lot of um, the fun activities. But we actually have added some more this year. Yes, and I know that WMAR2's own Jamie Costello is going to be sort of in charge of one of the contests or judging one of the contests? He is going to be our MC. So oh. um, at the festival, we have three pet contests. Yeah. One is uh, best pet costume. One is best trick. And then we also have best human pet look-alike. So oh my bring pets down with uh, <laughs> costumes, practice the tricks, and if it, you know if someone has said, "Hey, you look like your dog," come on down and win a prize. <laughs> that does happen. Well, I'm glad that he's emceeing and not judging because that seems like a hard job to judge. That they're going to be so cute. They really are. It's it's but it's it's so much fun. And Jamie and uh, always uh, the, the MB, WMAR staff just come down and just make a fun event every year. Yeah, so. we we definitely have a blast. So talk about the event itself. I know Chip. There's going to be a big concert at this event as well. Yes. So we're very excited to have the Festival for the Animals now and take what was the march and turn it into a full day. So it'll start at 10 a.m., oh my lord, in West <laughs> Covington Park, mm -hmm. and the march wraps around to the new festival space over across from the Sagamore Distillery, mm -hmm. where we'll have music run from 1 p.m. until 9 p.m. Wow. Uh, we have an incredible lineup featuring some local heroes in uh, Jay Pope and the Here Now, uh, Electric Love Machine, uh, Easy Jackson has put together a live band, which is going to be pretty amazing. And then the whole thing is headlined by the Whalers. So to have, wow. you know, the original Whalers and That's Bob Marley's amazing. family there to kick off summer is pretty outrageous. It so, really is. And how yeah. did this partnership between Covington and SPCA Maryland or Maryland SPCA come together? How did this all happen? Um, the SPCA has been doing this event for, you know, a number of years and they were on the hunt for a space that was really green and lush and wonderful for the pets. And with the peninsula in Port Covington, we have all of this beautiful waterfront space and it just made sense. Yes. So, you know, we were able to kind of get together and figure out how to help them take it to the next level mm -hmm. and just provide this beautiful space for everyone to come and, and walk their pets and, yeah. you know, have this gorgeous day. Well, as we're wrapping up, I just want to reiterate, this is fun for the whole family. There's going to be food, activities for kids, everything, right? It is. Bring the entire family. So we'll have activities for adults, children. We have a huge kid zone that will be set up. And then, of course, the contest uh, for pets, agility contest, lots of vendors uh, selling merchandise as well as food trucks. And it's just going to be an all-around wonderful day. Tina and Chip, thank you so much for joining us. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. <laughs> 